All right, guys, so real quick before I get into the video, I want to say something really important. So uh, one of my good friends actually started up his own YouTube channel, but as of right now, it's not too big. And guys, I'm going to be doing a deck giveaway where I give away these two brand new unopened decks, and I'll put a signed card in there as well so you guys can have like a signature and all that. But uh, what I want to do is it's easy enough for you guys. All you have to do is click the link, go over to his channel, and click subscribe, and then comment done back on this channel. But please, guys, I will be giving away these two decks as soon as he hits a 1,000 subscribers. That is the goal. Um, it would mean so much to me and so much to him as well, guys. So make sure, you know, boost up subscribers and all that, and let's see how this goes. So here are the decks, and make sure to click on the description. It will be here and in the uh, the description box below. So anyways, guys, let's get into 1,000, and here is the video. All right, so to be honest with you guys, this trick, um, it only took me like six or seven minutes to figure out. The second part took me a little bit, but then I kind of think I got it. So... Um, go ahead and click on the link on the screen so this way you guys know what I'm talking about. So um, basically he starts off the trick. It's kind of like a uh, here then there card trick by David Blaine, like a really simple one. So essentially you have two duplicate cards on top of the deck and then just, you know, any random card below it. So what he does is he has these cards cut in the middle. He has a pinky break. He tells somebody to say stop. So they say stop whenever they want and wherever they say stop, he picks it up from the break just like that moves it to the top and then what he has to do is a triple lift because he has this random card below the other duplicate so he does a triple lift he says all right go ahead sign the card Mel B signed it and then he gives her back the card she chose and then what he does is give her the top card which is one of the duplicates so she's holding this now in her hands thinking it's her signed card and then he does like a little top shot maneuver shoots the top card over which is now one of the duplicates, and says, you know what, this is going to be my card. So he just kind of flashes it around in order to get a break just above the top card, which is actually the spectator's card. He has a break now, he sets the card on top, and then he does a shake change. So I'll leave a link on the screen so you guys can do that. So essentially, he's just reversing the order of these two cards. He says, you know what, okay, so look, here's my card, and all he has to do is shake the deck, or shake the card around, and then uh, magically this is going to be now the spectator's card and he says you know what if I have your card go ahead and look at yours and Mel B flipped hers over and it was his so you know they just kind of switch places and he says alright go ahead you know take your card as like a souvenir or whatever and he puts the deck off to the side Mel, Mel B is now holding her card okay remember this is a uh, completely forced card so he intended for her to pick this card the entire time during the trick so then he goes up to Simon and has a little uh, notebook here and he says he has drawings or whatever but here's the thing so um, when he flashes the notebook at first he kind of you know gives the illusion that there's a whole bunch of choices here so essentially it's I assume that it is a Svengali type notebook so that means that um, every single I'll kind of give you guys a, a brief overview so essentially the Svengali deck looks like this it looks like there's a whole bunch of cards in the deck but then if you reverse it the other way you guys can see it's all the two of spades. So the way he did this was the uh, the soccer ball page when he told Simon to you know just pick up the deck wherever it's a forced it's a forced page. So essentially he goes you know what look I should have been you know doing schoolwork uh, but you know I've just been doodling. So he shows him like that and says you know what go ahead and just pick up whatever page you want. So it's anywhere Simon would pick up it is going to be that two of spades or that soccer ball. Anywhere he cuts it's going to be. The soccer ball as you guys can see so it's basically like I said a forced uh, forced deck so what it looks like is every other page in that notebook would have been uh, the soccer ball but what happens is in this Bengali deck as you guys can see the tops of them are actually cut off so if you look at the borders of the cards it makes it easier to see you see how the two of spades is cut a little bit on top there's less white than a regular card so that's kind of how the trick works and every other card would have been that soccer ball. So anywhere, like I said. So uh, and he also intended for that card to have the soccer ball inside of it. So it was a forced card all the way from the beginning. Melby's cards here has a soccer ball inside. Anywhere that Simon Cowell would have picked up the deck from, it would have been that soccer ball. So that is how he did the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.